Hello everyone! I hope you're ready for another adventure. Because today, Wayne reads Dinosaur Mysteries. Yay! Always remember that as we read along with these adventures and learn, all you have to do is press the CC button in your YouTube link to be able to follow along with the words. I believe that Madam Owl will be perfect to join us for today's adventure. Now that Madam Owl is here, let's jump in. Yay! Dinosaur Mystery. Dinosaur feathers? More than a hundred years ago, a man who was working in a stone quarry loosened a slab of rock that held the fossil dinosaur animal about the size of a crow. The smooth limestone had preserved it so perfectly that the prints of its feathers could still be seen. There were small clawed fingers on its wings, and it had a long snaky tail trimmed with feathers. The strange animal was soon given the lovely name Archaeopteryx, meaning ancient wing. It certainly was the most ancient feathered creature ever discovered. It lived 140 million years ago. But was it a bird? Archaeopteryx was not a bird like the ones we know today. It wasn't a flyer, for it did not have the hollow bones that helped make birds light enough for flight. Archaeopteryx bones were solid. It did not have strong enough muscles for flight, and it could not have flapped its wings anyway, because the arm bones did not join the shoulder bones in the right way for flapping. Some people think it used its wings for gliding down from trees. Others don't agree. For a long time, scientists thought that birds and dinosaurs were relatives. Recently, one scientist noticed something interesting. Without that astonishing crop of feathers, Archaeopteryx had the skeleton almost exactly like a small running dinosaur called Colorosaurus. Was Archaeopteryx a feathered dinosaur? Why should a dinosaur have feathers? To some people, the idea seemed downright silly. Actually, there is a very good reason why so small a creature might have needed feathers. Warmth. Big animal bodies hold heat better than small ones, just as a big pot of stew stays warm longer than a small pot of stew. A bare-skinned brontosaurus could have lived through a short spell of cold weather comfortably, but a small, active animal would have found some sort of body covering useful. Feathers were both light and warm. They would have worked very well. So a small feathered relative of the Coriosaurus does make sense after all. Was Archaeopteryx the ancestor of modern birds? Perhaps it was. But if not, then another creature very much like it must have been. Scientists have noticed, too, how much an ostrich skeleton resembles a skeleton of a dinosaur called Strothiomyces. Even though the dinosaurs are all gone, their feathered relatives are still around here on Earth today. The end. Oh, wow. We learned a lot about the feathered dinosaurs and what they could or could not be. What did you think, Madam Owl? Yeah, I thought it could resemble some of your relatives too. We'll see you on the next adventure, okay? We'll see you on the next adventure, here with Wayne Reads. Thank you for joining us and we can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.